Hello, this is Zovi from Romania. And this is Paola from Romania. We're playing with fire and you're watching Eurovision.tv. Eurovision.tv. Okay, you choose the tune. You start off, follow. Okay. You and me, can't you see we're playing with fire? Tell me now, do you feel this burning desire? Don't stop, make it drag, it's taking us higher. Could it be just a dream? Are you running away? Can you tell us something about your career? My career, musical career, you know, spans over some years as a as a piano bar artist. But the last three years, I would say that I've been using a lot of time to get myself up into the more professional level. That would mean I started to write songs, my own song, my own songs. Uh, I had a debut album which came out last year in Norway. I had two Eurovision. Um, um, participations that would be in 2006 in Norway and last year in Norway as well I went all the way to the final with Alexander Rybak if you probably remember him not me Well, my career started a long time ago. I started with a, a national uh, festival, which was uh, really important for Romania. And then I had some CDs, around 13 CDs I released in Romania. And then, uh, then I met this guy that is really, really, really talented. I saw him. Yeah, but we work very much together. It's really a pleasure to work with, with him, to, to sing in... Uh, Shut up. <laughs> I was saying good things. <laughs> if you want to see more about me and uh, the way I think about music, you can listen to my latest album, which is entirely uh, composed, written with my, s with my songs and my uh, words uh, and my production uh, in my studio and my orchestrations. <laughs> think about Eurovision Song Contest? Well nowadays I would say it's a very very good platform to promote yourself as an artist. It's really difficult these days to you know sell albums, to put out albums. It's not the uh, golden times for being an artist, we all know that. And in the case where you in the end get to win one national selection and y even do very well in the international one. Of course, it's an exposure which you you must almost uh, have in your CV. We we all grew up with Eurovision, and hey, come on, we it's it's an honor to be in the international final in the end. Well, it's one of the contests that I was watching with my family for many, many, many years. I think I was about around 19 years old and it was in um, uh, 1998. Now you know what my age is. <laughs> oh, how could I do that? <laughs> For us it's one of the, the greatest chances to show to the world that the music from Romania and Norway also uh, is really beautiful. Well, definitely the most important um, competition of songwriters in Europe, so it's very important. Can you name me two or three artists that became world famous after Eurovision? Of course, ABBA is the first, and the second one is... Uh, um, Johnny Logan? Uh, yeah, and the third one would be um, Celine Dion. And the fourth one... Paulo selling an Yeah, <laughs> true. Tempo, you say, song. Well, actually, quite an adventure because me, I'm known in my country for uh, slow songs, for very um, lyrical songs. 
and uh, people were really shocked to see me really having fun and enjoying a very uh, a very uh, ener energetic song an up tempo song it's a fight a musical fight <laughs> you know it's like a, the kind of fight you have in a couple a fight with love so we're not a couple yeah of <laughs> course not <laughs> yeah we're, of course. we're a couple on the stage a couple on the stage we we're performing as uh, uh, characters uh, which are from a play, you know, like like the characters of, of a play, only that our characters is from Playing With Fire song. How are you going to take that big piano with you to Norway? <laughs> By plane. <laughs> is it? But is it a, is it a real piano? No, it's, it, it, more or less, yeah. But we we actually did it from some I don't know, plexiglass or something like that. Um, it's a plastic thing that it's uh, wrapped with uh, some other things and yes. with <laughs> some lights. My husband made that all happen. It's the 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 one who uh, designed the whole piano. Yeah, it's made of plexiglass. We're gonna probably enhance it or do it even bigger and we have some other things which we would rather not talking about talk about right here <laughs> but uh, w w w w you know okay secrets I know you like but uh, <laughs> I also like secrets <laughs> but we like to keep secrets <laughs> Can you can you tell us the last three winners of Eurovision Song Contest? Yeah, well, uh, the final. Can I start first? Yeah. Alexander no. Rybak. Yeah, no way. Uh, she was uh, dark haired. Yeah, from uh, from Serbia or something? Yeah, 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 Serbia, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, we know, but we. You know, I have a, a terrible thing with names. Dima Bilan, yeah, from Russia, yeah. First of all, I I really hope you enjoy the song because we put a lot of uh, heart in it, working at it and recording it. So this is one reason for you to vote us. And another reason is because we really, really, really enjoy being, yeah, we really enjoy being on stage for you guys. So I hope that transcends <laughs> through the camera to you guys. Yeah, and we, we hope that you really see how much love we can yes, put and yeah we put for the song so. yeah.